Hey guys, it is Margaret and I am back with another box of frogs for you guys. So today I thought we would make a craft which is the Deathly Hollows but out of perler beads. I've made one here with um, black and sort of a pearly green and it actually can be used as a sun catcher so I'll show you when we're done um, how they look in the window because these pearly green ones are, are translucent so it looks really nice hanging in a window and I left a spot open at the top where you could hang it wherever you want. So I was going to show you how to make the Deathly Hollows out of perler beads and also tell you the story of the three brothers. Okay, so just to begin, I am going to be creating my Deathly Hollows today in Ravenclaw colors because I was sorted into Ravenclaw. And so those colors are blue and bronze. So I have got my tray of perler beads here and I'm going to use these blue and for the bronze, oh goodness, I don't exactly have a bronze, so I think I'm going to use these kind of orangey pearl um, colored ones because I think they'll look really nice in the sun, in the window. Alright, so depending on your house, you could create your perler bead Deathly Hollows with the colors for your Hogwarts house. Well, so let's say you are a Gryffindor, you could create it with the red and gold. If you were in Slytherin, you could use the green and silver, like so. And if you were in Hufflepuff, you might use yellow and black. This would have been nice with the yellow and the black, I mean the yellow inside and the black on the outside. And then if you're like me and you are in Ravenclaw, you can use the blue and the bronze. We're going with this for the bronze. All right, so here we go. So starting out, you're going to start out with 19 going across the bottom. So let's count those out as I tell you the story. Once upon a time, there were three brothers, and they were traveling through the deep, dark woods, dead in the night, when they came across a very violently rushing river with a broken bridge. Well, these three brothers were wizards. And so they conjured up a bridge and they crossed the river and returned to the other side in full safety. Again, this is my retelling, so... All right. <laughs> now, Death was waiting at this river and he was very upset that he was cheated out of three souls. But instead, you know, Death being as cunning as he is, he stopped the three brothers and congratulated them on beating him. All right, let's count these. Make sure I've got 19. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, we got those 19. All right, so Death, being as tricky as he is, congratulated the three brothers on beating him and offered to give them each a prize. One brother, who had recently lost his love, wished for a stone that could resurrect the dead. The second brother, who was a bit of a fighter, wanted a wand that was unbeatable. And the third brother, being a bit smarter, <laughs> didn't want death to follow him, so he asked for something that would conceal him um, when once he left that place. All right, for, so at this point, when you're making your um, Deathly Hollows, you're going to go up two, you're going to do that three times. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then one. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then one. All right, so let's make the outline. So we are right now making the outline for the symbol of the invisibility cloak. So the triangle represents the cloak of invisibility. So Death created the, the stone. He took a stone from the river. And he gave it to the first brother and sent him on his way. He, gra <laughs> he grabbed, <laughs> he fashioned a wand from an elder tree and gave that to the second brother. And then from the third, for the third brother, he took off his own cloak of invisibility and gave it to him so that he could leave that place and not be detected by death or followed. So the three brothers went along their way. The first brother went back home and turned, oh, I forgot to tell you that part. The death told the third brother, the first brother, blah, 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 
Jeff told the first brother that if he turned the rock over in his hand three times, then the person that he wanted to be re resurrected would be resurrected. So he got home, the first brother got home, he turned the stone over three times in his hand, and his long lost love was reborn, not reborn, <laughs> his long lost love came back to life and uh, was there with him. But she was very unhappy coming back from the dead. She she didn't know how to live in the, in the world of the living. And seeing her so upset distressed the brother so much that he ended up taking his own life so that he could be with her and not see her suffer. So that was the end of the first of the brothers. And death got his, what? Death got his prize in the end, right? Okay, so now we have got the triangle for the invisibility cloak ready. All right, so I've got my last two there. I want to make sure I've got it just right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and one on top. Good. Okay, so now the next brother, the brother that had the, the elder wand. Okay, so let's make the elder wand. So we need to go about halfway through. I think that's about it there. I need to make sure though. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's see. And then two, four, six, eight, nine. All right. So ten through. There we go. All right. So the second brother who wished for the wand that was unbeatable, he had a bit of a fighting nature. And so he went to a pub where he had had a quarrel with another wizard. And he challenged him to a duel, which, of course, he won. He went inside after the duel and began boasting that he had a wand that death gave him, that he uh, was unbeatable and all of this good stuff. So that night, someone came into his room and slit his throat and took the wand away from him. And as we learn later, the wand has to be won from the previous person by killing them. So... That's how it is. So now we're creating the wand, the invincible wand, right up the middle. Here we go. Now when we get to the top, we want to leave one spot open. So let's get that in there. Right there. So we've got that one spot that stays open so we can string it through something. All right, and now the last part we're going to create is the circle, which it represents the stone. Okie dokie. So... Finally, the third brother, no matter how hard Death searched, he could not find the third brother because he was smart. And he used his cloak of invisibility to keep himself hidden, and he didn't brag about it to anybody. And he handed the cloak down through his family, and he ended up dying of old age, and welcomed Death as a friend when he finally <laughs> went to see him, when he was finally died. All right, so let's finish this stone. So from here, once you've got the the wand created, you're going to put two more uh, perler beads on either side of it, and then go up three times diagonally, 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 diagonally. So we're going up three times, one, two, three, to create the bottom part of the stone. No oh, fingers. Okay. And then, let's see, how am I doing? We are going to, I'm comparing to my, <laughs> my other one that I made. So now I'm going upwards. So I'm going to connect these two, going straight up. One and two. Then I'm going up again over here. One and two. One and two. Like so. Ah, there it goes. One and two. Now I need to create the top part. So I've got this done, I've got this done, and now I need to go over diagonally from here to connect it up. So I've got my straight line, and then there's one that's kind of jutting out to the side right here. I'm going to start next to that one. So I am putting another one beside, oh, wrong spot, beside it right there. Is that correct? Do, 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 do. Yep, that's right. Correct right there. And then diagonally up again, up and beside it there so you went over one and then up diagonally one and then 
over one horizontally. And then we're going to connect it off downwards right her. Uh oh, I think I got off. Sometimes I miss the little the little nodes that I need to put them on. I think I messed up. Did I mess up? How did I do that? No, I didn't mess up. I'm fine. <laughs> I did. What have I done? No, maybe that's right. Okay, it's going to look okay when I get it all together. Okay, so I have the outline done now. And so I need to fill in with my coordinating color for Ravenclaw, which is bronze. So I'm going to fill this in, and you guys can enjoy some really awesome music while I do this. Okay, so now I need to go get the iron to iron this down to make it just like the other one. Okay, so now we are ready to iron it down. You get your piece of wax paper, you lay it on top. Be careful not to wiggle it too much because these beads will pop off of those little pegs. And then you just iron it down. Now I like to iron it till the little um, holes disappear. Some people don't do it quite so long, but that is what I do. At this point, you definitely need a parent. <laughs> Children, don't do this on your own. You can still see some little holes on this end. <gasps> it looks like one of my beads popped off. Uh oh. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm not going to try to grab that hot bead. Okay, I'm going to put a new peg on there. And then after the fact, I'll pull this one off. Okay, so I'm going to iron that spot again. All right, Ravenclaw. I need my Ravenclaw skills to kick in. Oh, there we go. Got it. Hopefully it stays put now. I think we just about have it. So I would leave it for a moment because it does get really hot with that iron. Now then, that's a little bit better. Once it's cooled off some, you can start peeling it from the pegboard. And now I have got my Ravenclaw Colors Deathly Hollows. All right, my companions, I'm gonna put a link down in the description box below connecting you with my Instagram and my Facebook page, and I wanna see if you make your own perler bead deathly hollows in your house colors. Can't wait to see them. Talk to you later, bye.